Here's a quick supplemental video on candlesticks, their patterns, and the proper context. Now, Matt did an awesome job here in this module um, explaining the candlesticks in context. So there's not a lot I can really add to that other than just to give you more examples. So I'm going to give you some examples. I'm looking at a chart of ESA, and I got about three years of history loaded up. And I'm just going to start highlighting and pointing out the context of candles and some of the reversal signals. So starting over here on the left, we had a nice little double bottom and breakout, and you can see as the prices rose, you had some big candles, some good momentum. You saw small body candles, but again, you never really saw a reversal down. Um, and prices kept rising up into a known resistance zone. And then there's a candlestick right here. There's a hanging man, big long shadow, and a big bearish engulfing candlestick right after that. So that's a good example of like a hangman slash bearish engulfing. Uh, here you got a long shadow on the bottom and small body candles there. And one of the things to look for is where the shadows come in the same price zone. Um, off of the 50 period moving average and then a nice confirmation up. Got out to resistance, it slowed down a bit. Some of the shadows warned you about that in the small candles. And then prices, uh, you know, broke to new highs and retested and retested. Here's a good example of a doji, small body candle on a moving average in a support resistance zone and then followed up by a nice strong run up out to the top of the swing range and the top of the trend channel and a nice fat doji warning about the reversal and then sure enough drop. Um, Another quadruple bottom there, double bottom, excuse me, double bottom candlestick. And again, those are not perfect, but there, there's an inverted hammer right there. And, uh, you know, possible bullish signal there. But support resistance zone, then it popped up, got out towards that same resistance target, and lo and behold, another doji. A um, bit of a hangman candle before that, if you look at the, the previous green candle right there. And then, you know, nice little sell-off. Now, the market got kind of choppy at the tops and the bottoms here. And just go back and look at the top and the bottoms. You'll see hammers and, again, dojis, small body candles. And then when you get the big momentum candles, like this big fat red candle down here, you know, um, big, big, big sell-off down into a major technical catalyst, that 200-period moving average. And you got a small green inside body. Higher low there. That's kind of the big deal. Then the confirmation up. Prices got up into the kiss goodbye zone. Small body shrinking candles. One of the things to notice is the difference, the distance between the tops of those candles as prices rise. You see it shrink. Not only do the candles shrink, but the distance between the tops shrink. And then boom, big bearish reversal pattern. Another small body candle down here. And this is a big fat support resistance zone in that $75 ballpark if you were to look back at some of the history. So that was a big support zone. Ha really hard to catch those V-shaped bottoms because they're, they're just not as, you know, the entries are not as clean. But uh, here's a support zone here that's been established and a hammer candle. Hammer candle at the support zone, boom. Prices break out, rips up, big momentum candles, strong moves, and then you get a small dark cloud cover, tweezer top type candlestick. So the dark cloud cover, um, again, distance between the peaks here, they did decrease a little bit, and then that double top, it actually puts in like a little tweezer top. So whenever you see you know, shadows like this where they're kind of equal, that's a tweezer top or a tweezer bottom. And again, you'll see hammers on bottoms, dojis on tops, and vice versa. Um, here's a big hammer and an earnings announcement. So earnings is hard to catch. Now I'm just going to start scrolling forward and just, again, showing a little bit more data. Long upper shadows are a telltale sign of reversal. Um, you know, common bottoms, breakouts, inside candles, you know, two candle patterns, single candle patterns. Let's see if I can spot some other good patterns in here for you. Let's see. There's a beautiful hammer, known support resistance zone. Inverted hammer, same support resistance zone. Um, small body candles at the top. And again, in proper context, you can get some pretty good reads on these. Um, you know, here's an example of like Doji's leading, you know, didn't quite signal the top, but you know, the top was not far off of that. Small body candles bearish engulfing kind of warning that that was a dip doji on the moving average um inside harami on the moving average you know 
good technical setups. So this is just, just kind of picked the stock at random and just decided to go look at uh, some of the candlestick patterns, inverted hammer, um, inside candlesticks on support zones. And, uh, you know, again, dojis on tops, spinning tops, small candles, lots of great looking candles there. A couple of wild ones, wild uh, shadows and things. You know, that'll happen from time to time. But again, small body candle dojis. Um, here's a great example of a bearish engulfing, uh, hangman slash bearish engulfing. So studying candlesticks and patterns and just, again, getting the general size you know, and, and context is super important. You know, context, yeah, at support resistance zones, at trend lines, at moving averages, as you saw in the main video. Um, extremely helpful. And again, when coupled with multiple technical catalysts like support resistances, you know, trends, moving averages, um, can give you a good heads up. And if you wait for those confirmation signals before you pull the trigger, it'll really help you with the swing trading.